Hey everyone, gather around. Let's talk about our upcoming vacation. I've been looking into some exciting options for this summer. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Where are you thinking of going? Well, I was considering a road trip across the country. Maybe we could finally explore the national parks out west? Yes, that would be amazing. Can we go hiking too? Absolutely. I think we could visit Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and maybe even Yosemite. Those places look stunning in pictures. When would we leave? Let's plan for mid-June. That way we avoid the peak of summer crowds. Great idea. I'll start mapping out the route and looking into accommodation options. Speaking of which, should we rent an RV for the trip? It could be more comfortable than cramming into hotel rooms. Yes, yes, yes. That would be awesome. I can already imagine sitting by the campfire under the stars. All right, I'll start looking into RV rentals and campsite reservations. Does anyone have any preferences for specific parks or activities? I've always wanted to see Old Faithful in Yellowstone. Can we go whitewater rafting if we're near a river? Sounds like we have a plan shaping up. Let's aim for a mix of relaxation and adventure. How long are we thinking of being on the road? I was thinking about two weeks. That should give us enough time to really enjoy each place without feeling rushed. Will we be driving the whole way or flying to a starting point? I think driving would be part of the adventure. We could make some stops along the way. Should we pack some camping gear then? Yes, definitely. I'll check what we have and make a list of what we might need to buy. I can't wait. This is going to be the best vacation ever. It sure will be memorable. I'm looking forward to spending quality time together. Me too. Okay, I'll get to work on the details and we'll finalize everything soon. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. All right, everyone. Let's start counting down the days. We have an amazing adventure ahead of us. Good morning. Today, let's talk about traveling. Have you traveled much? Or do you have any travel experiences you'd like to share? Good morning. Yes, I love traveling. I've been fortunate to visit several countries with my family. One memorable trip was to Japan last summer. That sounds wonderful. What did you enjoy most about your trip to Japan? Everything was amazing, especially the blend of traditional and modern culture. The temples in Kyoto were breathtaking, and Tokyo was so vibrant and bustling. Japan is indeed a fascinating blend of old and new. Did you notice any unique customs or traditions while you were there? Yes, the etiquette and respect for traditions were impressive. Bowing as a greeting was new to me, and the tea ceremony we attended was serene and beautiful. It's great that you had the chance to experience that. When you travel, do you prefer to plan every detail or leave some things to spontaneity? I like to have a rough plan, but also leave room for unexpected discoveries. It makes the trip more exciting. That's a good approach. Being open to spontaneity can lead to some of the best travel memories. Do you have a dream destination you'd like to visit someday? Yes, I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights in Iceland. The idea of witnessing such a natural phenomenon is captivating. Iceland is stunning for its natural beauty. Have you thought about what activities you'd like to do there? Definitely exploring ice caves and soaking in hot springs. I've heard so much about the Blue Lagoon. Those would be incredible experiences. When you travel, how do you think it impacts your perspective on life? or your understanding of different cultures. Traveling opens my mind and makes me appreciate diversity. Meeting people from different backgrounds teaches empathy and tolerance. Absolutely, travel has a unique way of broadening our horizons. Have you ever faced any challenges while traveling? Language barriers can be tricky, but it's amazing how gestures and smiles can bridge those gaps. Also, navigating public transportation in foreign cities can be an adventure in itself. Overcoming those challenges must be rewarding. Speaking of transportation, do you have a favorite mode of travel? 
I enjoy train travel for the scenic views and the opportunity to relax and watch the world go by. Trains can be a great way to see a country. Do you have any tips for fellow travelers based on your experiences? Pack light, stay curious, and interact with locals whenever possible. They often have the best recommendations for hidden gems. Those are excellent tips. Is there a travel quote that resonates with you? The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. It reminds me of the endless possibilities out there. That's a beautiful quote. Finally, do you think traveling has influenced your personal growth? Definitely. It has made me more adaptable, patient, and appreciative of the world's beauty and diversity. It's wonderful to hear how much you've gained from your travels. Thank you for sharing your experiences and insights with me today. Thank you for this conversation. It's always inspiring to talk about travel and the lessons it brings. You're welcome. Travel truly is a rich source of learning and growth. Are there any particular travel experiences that have influenced your career aspirations or goals? Yes, traveling has ignited my interest in international relations. Experiencing different cultures firsthand has motivated me to pursue a career that involves fostering global connections. That's fantastic. Your firsthand experiences will undoubtedly enrich your understanding in that field. Have you ever considered participating in a study abroad program? I've thought about it. Studying abroad would provide deeper immersion and learning opportunities. Perhaps spending a semester in Europe or Asia would be incredible. It certainly would be a valuable experience. Many students find that studying abroad enhances their academic and personal growth significantly. Speaking of which, have you ever traveled solo? Not yet, but I'm considering it for my next adventure. The idea of navigating a new place independently is both exciting and a bit daunting. Traveling solo can be a transformative experience. It really pushes you out of your comfort zone and fosters self-reliance. Do you have any concerns about traveling alone? Safety is a concern, especially in unfamiliar places. Researching destinations thoroughly and staying vigilant are key, I suppose. Absolutely, safety should always be a priority. Researching local customs and understanding cultural norms can also help ensure a smoother experience. Have you ever used technology or apps to enhance your travel experiences? Yes, navigation apps and language translation tools have been incredibly useful. They make it easier to communicate and explore efficiently. Technology has revolutionized travel in many ways. It's amazing how accessible information has become. As you look back on your travels, is there a specific moment or encounter that stands out as particularly memorable? Visiting the Taj Mahal at sunrise was unforgettable. The sheer beauty and historical significance of the monument left a lasting impression on me. That sounds breathtaking. Monuments like the Taj Mahal truly have a way of leaving an indelible mark. Do you have any travel rituals or habits that you follow whenever you go on a trip? I always try to learn a few basic phrases in the local language and sample traditional cuisine. It helps me connect with the culture on a deeper level. Language and food are such integral parts of cultural immersion. It's wonderful that you make an effort to engage with them. Looking ahead, do you have any upcoming travel plans or destinations you're excited about? I'm planning a hiking trip to New Zealand next year. Exploring the stunning landscapes and experiencing Maori culture is something I'm really looking forward to. New Zealand is a paradise for nature lovers. The landscapes there are truly spectacular. Do you think your travel experiences have influenced your perspective on sustainability and environmental conservation? Absolutely. Witnessing pristine natural environments has made me more conscious of our impact on the planet. Sustainable travel practices are becoming increasingly important to me. It's great to see how travel can inspire a sense of responsibility towards our environment. Before we wrap up, is there any advice you'd give to someone who's hesitant about traveling or exploring new places? 
Start small, perhaps with a weekend getaway to a nearby town or city. Take gradual steps outside your comfort zone and you'll discover how enriching travel can be. That's excellent advice. Thank you so much for sharing your perspectives and experiences. It's been a pleasure discussing travel with you today. Thank you too. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Traveling truly is one of life's greatest teachers. Absolutely, travel is a profound teacher indeed. As you continue to explore different parts of the world, is there a specific aspect of travel that you find most fulfilling or rewarding? I think the connections made with people from diverse backgrounds are incredibly rewarding. Sharing stories, exchanging ideas, and realizing our common humanity despite cultural differences is always a highlight of my travels. That's beautiful. It's remarkable how travel can foster meaningful connections and deepen our understanding of others. Have you ever experienced a cultural festival or event during your travels that left a lasting impression? Yes, attending Diwali celebrations in India was unforgettable. The vibrant colors, festive atmosphere and warmth of the people made it a truly magical experience. Festivals are a wonderful window into a culture's traditions and values. They often bring communities together in joyful celebration. When you travel, do you prefer to stay in hotels or explore alternative accommodations like homestays or guest houses? I enjoy a mix of both. Hotels offer comfort and convenience, but staying in homestays or smaller accommodations provides a more authentic and personal experience. That's a great approach. Local accommodations can offer unique insights into daily life and local customs. Have you ever had any unexpected encounters or serendipitous moments while traveling? Yes, once while hiking in Switzerland, I got lost on a trail, but ended up meeting a local guide who showed me breathtaking viewpoints I wouldn't have discovered otherwise. It turned out to be a highlight of the trip. That's a wonderful example of how unexpected experiences can lead to incredible discoveries. Embracing spontaneity often leads to the most memorable adventures. As you reflect on your travel experiences, do you have a favorite destination that holds a special place in your heart? It's hard to choose, but Italy has a special charm for me. The art, history, food and warmth of the people always draw me back.